Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in 25% of cells from several cultures derived from amniotic fluid the following choreogram was obtained there is an extra chromosome shown on the lower right hand corner most likely representing an extra copy of chromosome number 20 the remaining cells had a normal number of chromosomes the situation is best described as and here is uh, five answers to choose from. So if we would take a look at this choreogram, we would see that uh, one chromosome here present as extra copy, uh, most likely of the chromosome number 20. It resembles this chromosome. So some cells uh, have this extra chromosome and some doesn't have. So before I will show you the correct answer, I want to go over every term. So uh, what is the haploidy means? As you see, each chromosome here has Arabic number and each chromosome represented with two copies. One chromosome we got from the mother side, another a homologous chromosome we got from the father side. And so in each pair. So we are diploid. Uh, D means two, ploid means ploidy, so whole set. So we have two whole sets of chromosomes. So we are diploid and haploid would be our uh, gametes, where the egg cells which females would produce or sperm which males would produce. Uh, such gametes would have only one chromosome from each pair and we say that Gametes are haploid. So this is what haploidy means. Only one set of chromosomes. And what monosomy means, uh, as you see here uh, in the first answer we have ploidy as ending and here we have somi as ending. And somi uh, the same as chromosome. So som as in chromosome. So mono means one. And that means situation when one of the pairs of chromosome represented by only one chromosome. Say uh, chromosome 21 uh, or 22 can be represented by only one chromosome and one chromosome can be missing. So we call such situation uh, monosomy. And uh, another variant would be trisomy. As you know, uh, those people who have uh, extra chromosome 21, this is Down syndrome, so uh, this is very bad for our health if we miss one chromosome or have extra chromosome. So monosomy when in a pair of chromosome 1 is missing and trisomy when uh, there are extra copy of the chromosome but only in one pair. It doesn't apply to the whole set of uh, chromosomes. And if the whole set would have extra third chromosome, we call this triploidy. So the whole, uh, the whole uh, karyotype would be uh, present with three copies of each chromosome. And this sometimes happens with humans, but uh, usually this would lead to miscarriages, uh, stillbirths, or such children would die within uh, hours when they would burn. And uh, if you would search for pictures on the internet, this is really scary pictures because uh, such children uh, would be very deformed. So, uh, what is the balanced? Translocation, imagine that we have um, some uh, chromosomes, say chromosome number 4. This chromosome is known for sometimes being able to lose one of its arms. And say chromosome number 20. So number 4 and 20. As you see, these two chromosomes are very different in size. So here is the chromosome number 20. And here would be centromere somewhere here and what if non-homologous crossing over would happen and these two 
uh, chromosomes would exchange the arms. What uh, would happen? And in this case, we would see it. One arm is present on the chromosome number four, but now we would see that other arm would be from chromosome number 20. And chromosome number 20, one arm would be the same as before, but the other arm would be from uh, chromosome number 4, which is much bigger in size. But the situation, if this would happen at the very early stage of the fetus development or uh, on the zygote level, uh, we call balance translocation because organism still would have all the genes that represented uh, uh, in normal cell but uh, arms would be found on the different chromosomes. The problem uh, may arise when such a person with uh, balanced translocation uh, want to have a children and if gamete would form and from this pair this unusual chromosome uh, would come and uh, from this pair this unusual chromosome would come and would end up in one gamete um, child would be just like his father would have balanced translocation and no visible physical problems uh, would be seen but if uh, from this pair would go normal chromosome and from the second pair would go this abnormal chromosome uh, such gamete would miss uh, one uh, one um, arm of one of the chromosomes and would have extra arm for the other chromosome so there are going to be disbalance this would lead to serious health problems and uh, to miscarriages one more time uh, in 50 percent we would see that such a person would give one normal chromosome and also another normal chromosome from each set. Also such person can give two abnormal chromosomes so this wouldn't lead to uh, visible problems and um, if person would give one normal from one set and one abnormal from another set or one normal from one set and abnormal from another set. In this case, we would see uh, phenotypic uh, and health problems. So this is what balanced translocation is. And our choices you see today would be answer C, mosaicism. We call such situations where some cells or cell lines would have a slightly different genetic makeup. For example, uh, in some cells we can have whole set of the uh, chromosomes in other cells uh, organism may lose one chromosome and we would see in this case that some cells would be monosomic or some cells may get uh, extra copy of chromosome or would be trisomic for some certain chromosome usually such situation we can see with smallest chromosomes because smallest chromosomes, of course, would have a smallest number of genes. And uh, smallest number of genes means that uh, least uh, effect would be on the whole organism. And normally we do not see trisonomy of the chromosome number one or two or three because this is one of the biggest and would have um, greatest number of genes on them. So uh, basically, as you see, uh, mosaicism is just uh, cell lines with different genetic makeup but, and I expect a question from you uh, from this karyotype we can say that this is karyotype of the male because Y chromosome present here and X chromosome but what would happen if we would see uh, another X chromosome present here so this is going to be a female so we can cross out this chromosome and females because have two X chromosomes one X chromosome would be turned off and would form a bar body in some cells uh, 
chromosome inherited from the mother's side would be turned off and uh, from the father's side would be turned on. In other cells, uh, from the father's side would be turned off and from the mother's side would be turned on. So, uh, in each uh, female cell, we would see only one active uh, X chromosome and another one would form a bar body and would be inactivated. So, uh, we can uh, say that all females on our planet are mosaic. And in videos that I'm going to upload uh, tomorrow, I also going to explain difference between mosaic and uh, chimeric uh, organism. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Please share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.